And I want to take a moment to discuss using the polygon tool and paintbrush to do manual segmentation. So you do have the ability to, there's a polygon or a smooth curve option. I'm going to just zoom into an area. Let's find something. Let's just grab right here. I have the ability to draw a shape around an area that I'm interested in. When I go back around to the beginning, it fills it in automatically. Now, within this window, there's a few buttons that are showing up. I do have the ability to grab the individual points and manipulate them as I see fit. I can also grab a specific line and I can split it. And then having done that, I can move the lines themselves or I can grab specific points and move those. Once I've gotten to the point that I like what I'm seeing, I can go ahead and I can say accept and it'll automatically fill in. If I wish, I can grab the paintbrush tool and the paintbrush does have a few options for style. In this case, I'm going to pick around one that's a little bit more organic. And you do have the ability to be able to add or subtract to what you've just done. Left clicking adds, right clicking erases. So you can further trim as you, as you see fit. I can go ahead and I can either use the polygon tool or use the paintbrush tool to select more. And I can do that a couple of times. Let's do one more layer, huh? I'm not going to be quite as detailed this time. But once I've done that, if I go to Update, I now have, in this case, a very thin, but a 3D model nonetheless. That I can then um, export as a surface mesh.